Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about some of the top benefits of Apigenin. Apigenin is a beneficial medicinal plant flavonoid that's found abundantly in common plant foods like celery, parsley, guava, simple common herbs like chamomile, and a variety of medicinal and culinary mushrooms like shiitake mushroom, maitake, oyster, agaricus, as well as simple white button mushrooms. Now the more I research apigenin, the more I come to realize that it's truly a wonder substance. It really has a beneficial effect in almost every regard to human health. There's a various extensive research and clinical studies on apigenin's anti-neoplastic, anti-cancer, anti-tumor, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, anti-stress, pro-mitochondrial, neuroprotective, and general adaptogenic effects on the body. So truly apigenin, again, is one of those substances that can really target and benefit and treat almost any health problem that you could think of. However, in this particular video, I'm not going to dive into every last beneficial effect of apigenin and all of its physiological mechanisms, but I am going to point out what I consider to be some of the most important and helpful benefits of apigenin. So with that being said, let's get into the science behind apigenin, its beneficial effects, the top beneficial effects, and how it works to achieve these effects. Now the first benefit of apigenin I want to talk to you about is its skin protective or general beneficial effects on the skin. First and foremost, apigenin has a profound anti-cancerous and anti-tumor effect on the skin. So it's been clinically proven in various clinical studies that it can help treat various types of skin cancers and even prevent and reverse or successfully treat the formation of various skin tumors. And this has a lot to do with apigenin's general anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. So it reduces oxidative stress and it's well known that oxidative stress, when chronic especially, is a major contributing factor to cancer, uh, not to mention that apigenin generally just suppresses the production or secretion of various inflammatory mediators and inflammatory pathways that are all known to cause cancer. Another impressive benefit of apigenin is this anti-neoplastic effects. So this means that apigenin can successfully treat abnormal skin growth and various types of moles. And I think that this is a really beneficial effect because the standard route of treatment for skin tags, skin growth, moles, etc., is usually surgical removal. However, apigenin is a very natural, non-invasive way to treat skin abnormalities and specifically various types of moles. Something else that's really great about apigenin in regards to skin health is this natural sort of sunblock effect in the body. So it's been shown time and time again in numerous studies to protect the skin from UV induced inflammation and oxidative stress. So although the sun is a major source of health and healing, it activates mitochondrial respiration. It's just a major source of energy and life. The fact of the matter is too much of anything can be a bad thing. So too much sun can lead to sunburn and that sunburn is basically skin inflammation and damage, which can have obviously adverse health effects on the skin. However, apigenin sort of acts as a natural sunblock. It inhibits UV induced inflammation and oxidative stress. So if you're somebody who loves getting a lot of sun like me and you're looking to mitigate any harmful effects, supplementing apigenin in whatever source is a great way to do that. Also, if you're somebody looking for a natural, non-toxic alternative to conventional sunblocks, again, apigenin is a really great way to achieve this. Last but not least, in regards to skin health, Apigenin has a general beneficial effect or skin promoting effect. So it specifically improves the functioning of the barrier system of the skin or the extrinsic or external immune system of the skin. So our skin is a barrier system. It has its own immune system. It is in a way part of our immune system because it protects our internal organs from various microbes and pathogens. So it has sort of an antibacterial, antimicrobial effect by improving the natural functioning of the skin barrier system. The second major benefit of apigenin I'd like to talk about today is its general anti-inflammatory effects. Now I'm going to dive into all the various ways that apigenin acts as an anti-inflammatory and give you some specific examples, but Given the fact that most every disease has its roots in either oxidative stress and inflammation, 
which usually go hand in hand. Uh, this effect alone is going to have various beneficial effects. Everything from benefits to the skin, to the scalp and hair, and to all of your various organs and glands. So this is a major benefit that Apigenin provides and there's various ways in which it can help specifically. Now looking at a few studies for examples here. One study found that if you treat mice with Apigenin at the same time that they're exposed to toxic stress, that they had a significantly reduced inflammatory response. Additional studies have found that apigenin supplementation can almost entirely inhibit the production of inflammation in the colon by suppressing various inflammatory signaling pathways. Lastly, there's a variety of studies that show apigenin's anti-inflammatory effects actually has a powerful anti-fibrotic effects on various organs, including the skin, the scalp, the lungs, and the liver. So for those of you that don't know, fibrosis is basically uh, the massive accumulation of collagen or scar tissue in a particular organ that has been subject to chronic inflammation. So fibrosis is usually the result of chronic inflammation. So in other words, apigenin has such a powerful anti-inflammatory effect that can not only prevent fibrosis, but in some cases can restore the coherence or the natural functioning to that damaged or injured organ. Now these are a few examples of how apigenin works as an anti-inflammatory. However, its mechanisms or the way that it works physiologically to achieve these effects come back to its inhibitory effects on the production of various inflammatory pathways and mediators. So things like inflammatory cytokines, interferon, interleukin, prostaglandins E2, nitric oxide, cyclooxygenase 2, amongst others. So in other words, it stops the secretion of the production of the chemicals that would otherwise cause chronic inflammation. The third major benefit of aptogen is its anti-cancerous effect. So obviously cancer is an epidemic that takes many people's lives today. A lot of people are struggling with it and there's not many uh, talked about natural alternatives to it. There are more coming to the surface. However, still there's not as many as that there probably should be. However, apigenin has been proven time and time again in various clinical studies to have a profound anti-cancerous effect and the ability to treat various types of cancer. So I just want to share with you some of that science and research. So first and foremost, let's talk about how apigenin actually works to inhibit or treat cancer. Now, the way that it works ultimately comes back to its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant or anti-stress effects. So it was figured out a while ago by researchers like Warburg and Hans Selyes that cancer is really the result of chronically impaired cellular energy production. So when your cells can't produce energy, instead of producing carbon dioxide, they will produce lactic acid. And that lactic acid creates the perfect breeding ground for cancer cells. Now, apigenin works to prevent cancer at the root by targeting this issue. So it has this profound anti-stress effect. So not only does it lower cortisol in the production of stress chemicals, which can impair energy production on a cellular level. It also has this antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects in both free radicals and inflammation in the most basic sense impair proper cellular energy production. And that's going to result in the formation of a cancerous environment where cancer cells thrive and proliferate. So that's basically how it works. And, and as an example of this, other than lowering cortisol, it's well known that apigenin can actually inhibit the production of something called cyclooxygenase 2, which is an inflammatory pathway or mediator that is known to be present or in involved in the production of cancer. In addition to this, apigenin has been known to suppress the production of various proteins and enzymes like GLUT1, a protein involved in various cancers like head and neck cancers, as well as various enzymes that are involved in cancer. So it suppresses the production of the various genes, chemicals, and other inflammatory enzymes that would attribute to the production of cancer. Another way that apigenin actually helps to prevent or treat cancer is due to its androgenic effects. So apigenin is actually an androgenic substance, so it helps to produce those beneficial protective androgens that oppose the production of stress chemicals like estrogen and cortisol, which impair energy production and can lead to the development of cancer. So these are a few of the physiological mechanisms behind apigenin's anti-cancer effects, but again, in simpler terms or in fewer words, basically the anti-inflammatory antioxidant and anti-stress effects of apigenin are what give
give it its anti-cancerous effects. And there are various clinical studies that go to show that apigenin can help treat everything from breast cancer to prostate cancer and various other types of cancer. So I'll put links to those studies beneath this if you're interested in checking those out. The fourth and final benefit I want to talk to you about today is apigenin's beneficial effect on the hair or the scalp specifically. So it's a great natural substance for not only correcting hair loss and hair problems, but it can even help to regrow the hair or promote normal and healthy hair growth. And the way that it works also comes back to its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. So keep in mind that hair loss, especially baldness, is really the result of chronic inflammation to the scalp. So when you see a shiny bald scalp, that's a fibrotic or calcified scalp. And as we learned earlier, fibrosis is the byproduct of chronic inflammation. And something else that we learned earlier is that apigenin is very capable of handling both oxidative stress and inflammation. And it has an anti-fibrotic effect on the scalp specifically. So one factor involved in the pathogenesis of hair loss and balding is the production of something called transforming growth factor beta 1. So in essence, this is an inhibitory molecule on the hair follicle. So it has an inhibitory effect on proper hair follicle growth. Now, according to the science and research, apigenin, which is known to have a strong antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and anti-fibrotic property, actually stimulates hair growth through the downregulation of this transforming growth factor beta 1 gene. So these are just a few of the major benefits of apigenin. They're the ones with some of the most research uh, backing them and the ones that I think and hopefully will be the most helpful to everybody watching. However, there are many additional benefits of apigenin, so it's possible and probable that I will make future videos on the benefits of apigenin, especially considering how easy it is to get this particular medicinal flavonoid. So for those of you interested in reaping these benefits of apigenin that we discussed here today, Again, you can find apigenin in very simple foods and herbs, things like celery, parsley, guava, chamomile, and a variety of different medicinal and edible mushrooms. So mushrooms like agaricus, shiitake, maitake, oyster mushrooms, and your everyday white button mushroom. However, that does bring today's video to a close. So if you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, uh, especially if you're interested in seeing future videos just like this one. And if you're interested in supplementing with apigenin, be sure to check out the description box below. Head to the Tonic Herb Shop for a concentrated source of apigenin and the various medicinal mushrooms I mentioned today. Thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you next time.